Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to Carmelite Readings. I'm Alexandra, welcome. This is gonna be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 2020. If you are new, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. If you're returning, hello, my fellow Taurians. For those of you who don't know, I am a Taurus, Sun, and Moon, all right? So big up to all my Taurians. I love you guys so much. And we're gonna take a look and see what's coming in for us or what's gonna be going on for October. Um, for those of you that are new here, uh, please know that my readings are designed to help you connect to your inner light um, and, and work on your relationship with God to help you become in alignment with your true path, your soul journey. Um, so while I will be looking at an outside uh, situation that you're dealing with, a love connection probably, um, please know that my goal is to find any uh, soul lessons, okay, um, and cycles that you may be currently going through and needing to be aware of and heal from at this time, okay? Um, so there's three decks. For those of you that don't know, I will be shuffling each deck individually as I say my prayer out loud. If I pause during my prayer, please know that it is because I'm placing my intentions on the cards. Um, if at any time you resonate with this reading and you're interested in a personal reading, please check the link in my description box below for my website. I currently offer six different types of readings. There's one for everyone, all right? So because I don't like to keep you guys waiting. Let's go ahead and get started with our prayer and get right into our messages from spirit. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to their current life situation and love connection in October 2020. I ask that these messages provide clarity, healing, understanding, and guidance. As well as a higher perspective and knowledge on what soul cycles, soul lessons they may currently be going through, needing to be aware of, awaken to, heal from, release, and let go. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, let's get into this and see what we have going on. Holy Spirit, what is the overall spiritual message of guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Spiritual message of guidance, October 2020 for Taurus. All right, let's see what we got here. We have first card, Psalms 9-9. Nine, nine. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. On the back, patience and perseverance have a magical effect before which difficulties disappear and obstacles vanish. Very interesting. On the bottom of the deck, we have Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and of good courage for the Lord your God. He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. On the back, you have Galatians 6, 9. Let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of a blessing. All right, Torians, here's what I'm seeing. I feel that... Um, this month in October, we can expect particular situations maybe to take longer to come to fruition than we were hoping. I think that we're waiting for something to happen or it's either a message or a shift. There's some type of breakthrough that you're really wanting here. And um, Spirit is asking us to continue to be strong in these situations. When things look like they're falling apart or when things look like maybe they're not gonna turn out the way we planned, we have to remember that what we see on the outside is not a true and real indicator of what is really happening, okay? Um, we also have this message here of patience and perseverance, okay? 
and also of not not getting tired of being true to ourselves of being good right let's not get tired of doing what is good at just the right time we will reap a harvest of blessing so i feel that spirit is saying to continue on the path that you're on right now whether it's healing yourself um looking at a, a situation from a higher perspective and they're saying don't give in they want you to stay strong on that path okay and know that even though it may seem like nothing is coming something is coming for you all right let's take a look here and see what the energy is <clears throat> holy spirit what is the current romantic energy for october 2020 what is the romantic energy surrounding All right, let's see what is surrounding. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, ooh, deception. Okay, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, I'm gonna um, clarify that in a minute, but what I'm getting from this just right away is that somebody is not being true to who they are. They're not speaking their truth, okay? There is something hidden um, within this particular connection. For some of you, it could just be that this person isn't comfortable with expressing their emotions fully. For others, there could be something bigger. So I'm going to clarify that to see what we what we get. We have past life relationship. It says you have known each other before. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, the signs are cautioning you. And you also have healing family issues. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Sorry about that. We're outside of my patio. Um, wow, interesting. This is somebody that you have had connections with before. I feel like in this lifetime and previous as well, one of you um, needs to let go of some emotional baggage that you're carrying into a, this current connection okay it could be you or the other person um and spirit is saying that has to be cleared because it is causing um a lot of friction in this relationship okay um and that's where i'm getting these red flags here with deception and release your ex it's like somebody is not being true to themselves because they're still bringing in something from the past if that makes any sense um, and so it's causing a lot of illusions and untruths to be brought to the surface, okay? So somebody here does need to release some perceptions or emotional baggage um, that they have uh, gained from a previous relationship that I feel and I'm seeing as something that was painful or traumatic, okay? We also have healing family issues. Taurus, I feel this is for you. Um, it might be for the other person, but let me tell you what they're showing me. I feel, Taurus, that you've really been working on yourself um, for quite some time and you've been focusing on cycles, um, patterns, okay, behaviors, things that may have been reoccurring in your family. You're recognizing um, how to break free from patterns and, and, and bad cycles and how to ascend, so to speak, okay? And so what you're currently focused on is um, changing the course of your path, right? And Spirit is saying you need to focus on forgiving any family members who, even when you were as a, a child, who may have been responsible for giving you false perceptions or any type of inner wounds that you've been currently working through, um, to forgive them, right? Because we're all here on a journey. We're all here going through something. And they did the best they could, and they did it with all they knew at the time. So Spirit is asking you to please continue to work on healing your family issues, okay? And to forgive any family members that you may need to forgive at this time to help you move forward in a positive direction. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have? Of clarity, guidance, understanding, and healing. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Love, connection, love, relationship, October 2020. Let's see what, wow, 
overall energy on the bottom of the deck, lovely, 10 of pentacles, love to see that. So a lot of financial stability and abundance. This is those blessings we talked about here, okay, in the first two cards. Um, this is stability. This is building a life not only with yourself, but with somebody. Um, a very strong home life, okay? Money looks like it's going to be good. Family life is good. Um, happiness if you have children, okay? This is abundance overall. Everything is coming to manifestation. Everything's coming to fruition for you. We have strength as the current uh, energy surrounding you guys. Your energy is the Four of Cups. Partner's energy is the Death card, so you could be dealing with Scorpio. We also have Leo here. Issue between the two of you is the High Priestess. And the outcome is the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. All right, so here's what we have. Current situation between you and your partner is strength. This is beautiful. Um, I feel that somebody has really done a lot of work. They know exactly what they want, and they're no longer wanting to play any games, okay? They're speaking their truth. They're living in their truth. They've learned how to control their emotions and their reactions, okay? Um, I feel that they are entering this connection or coming towards this connection um, with a lot to say, though. That's what I'm feeling with this strength card. There's like a lot to say. There's something that you want to express, maybe some self boundaries that need to be made okay let me see here holy spirit please clarify the strength card for taurus all right this is page of pentacles is what flew out so this is speaking your truth some type of new information okay an offer maybe an apology but this is some type of recognition or conversation where somebody wants to get something off their chest. They have something to give to the other person. Um, on the bottom, it's the star. So I feel like this is a conversation of healing, of moving forward, of really expressing what this connection means to you. Um, again, what you want from it, the boundaries that you need. This is what I'm looking for, okay? Um, and really bringing this connection full circle because I'm getting this energy that this connection may have been... Um, kind of wobbly in the past, okay? Taurus, your energy right now is the Four of Cups. You're a little bit hesitant. You're still in this contemplative energy. You like what you're hearing and you like what you're seeing, okay? But this offer that's coming in, you're just not sure about it. You're still focused on a few things here from the past, so this release your ex may be um, something that you need to work on and maybe not your partner, okay? Um, the issue here with this Four of Cups is you could be missing out on, on, on a connection, on a gift, where if this was wobbly in the past, it's ready to be stable. And if you're focusing too much on the things that have happened between you or what could go wrong, there's a very strong possibility that you can um, draw that and manifest that to, to be the outcome of this connection. So let me see what you are uh, hesitant about here. Holy Spirit, please clarify the four of cups. The three of swords just fell out, along with the king of wands, like kind of fell out and flipped over. Um, I'm going to do a full shuffle again to check for you guys, but you're just thinking about heartbreak. You're thinking about things in the past that hurt you. Maybe there was a third party situation, okay? But you're getting so caught up in it that you're missing what's actually happening right now. Um, again, King of Wands. So wondering if this person is going to, is manipulating you, if this person is using you or playing you. Please, please clarify the Four of Cups. Yeah, I, I do think it's just worried about what, what are this person's true intentions. Yeah, Knight of Swords, like uh, very impulsive, wondering, you know, they're rushing. Are we moving too fast? Is this really real? This just came rushing in out of nowhere. And again, five of cups. So you guys are really focused on something in the past right now. And you're worried about um, the reality of this, how stable it is. Did, did we think this through? Are we doing the right thing? Okay. Your partner's energy is the death card. This person has gone through some type of transformation. That's why I'm telling you to get out of this four of cups energy. 
um, because your partner is currently experiencing some type of tower moment and or awakening where who they were in the past and what they may have brought to the connection is no longer, okay? Um, something has really shifted and changed within this particular person. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Holy Spirit, why is the death card here for the other person's energy? Wow, the Knight of Swords keeps wanting to come out. I'm going to do a separate thing on that because I don't... Spirit is telling me that has nothing to do with this death card. How interesting. Holy Spirit, why is the death card here for their partner's feelings towards them and the connection, please, October 2020? Page of Cups. They have an offer. They're coming in. They want to give you their love, okay? Something has transitioned where I don't think this person had been very open before, okay? Um, Queen of Cups on the bottom. Like I said, huge shifts and change have, have happened within this person. They're coming forward. They're giving you their cup of love. They have a message for you. It's very surprising and coming out of nowhere, okay? There's a transition here. Things are ending in this person's life, and they're wanting to move forward with you. The challenge between the two of you is the High Priestess. I feel that both of you, whether you know it or not about your partner, this is for both of you. You both struggle greatly with trusting your inner knowing and your intuition about the feelings you both have for each other. Um, I feel that you guys sometimes can get caught up in the darkness of our thoughts instead of the lightness of our heart. Um, and they, there's some insecurities here. It feels like a mystery. This person is a mystery to you. You're a mystery to them. Um, and you feel like there might be something hidden, like there's something more that you need to be aware of, or maybe there's some secrets. But I'm, I'm truly not getting that there are. I feel like Spirit is just saying that you guys don't trust yourself enough. You don't trust yourself enough and you're so certain that there's something negative because of what's happened to you in the past that you're unable to really see what's in front of you. Holy Spirit, please clarify the High Priestess for the challenge of this connection, the issue. Why is the High Priestess here for the issue? The Emperor. Interesting. With the Empress on the bottom. I was right. So the challenge between the two of you is your vulnerability. You're not trusting one another and you should because this is a divine union. This is a divine couple. The Emperor and the Empress are here. Um, and the issue is you guys being able to set firm boundaries and communicate to each other what it is you want and you're struggling with getting things off the ground and building the life that you both want for yourselves but also with each other you you feel that they're your person and they feel that way too but both of you doubt that the other one feels that way okay um this is a great connection by the way especially when you have the high priestess in the middle it's it's interest, interesting to me that this is the challenge for you guys because if this wasn't a challenge it's like a match made in heaven it's like a dream come true um you guys are very connected intuitively energetically spiritually that's why we have the high priestess in between the emperor and the empress here and although you feel it you doubt there's a lot of doubt here that the other person feels this way hmm I want to know more about this Knight of Swords, please, Holy Spirit. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Clarify the Knight of Swords. This is a soulmate connection. This is a divine union. This is a gift. This is a gift, and you need to see it that way. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. What did I tell you? Two of Cups came out. This came out, now I see why. The Knight of Swords came out because this is going to happen suddenly and rapidly. These are talks of commitment, union, wanting to stabilize a um, connection. Knight of Swords is just all of a sudden. You're going to receive some type of communication or message from this person. Um, and next thing you know, you're going to be in a committed 
union, okay? Um, the outcome between you and this person is the Ten of Cups, and the overall energy was the Ten of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, this is engagement, this is moving in, this is um, everything that you've been manifesting and praying for. This is extreme happiness, emotional fulfillment, um, family life, creating a foundation with one another, okay? Ending a negative cycle and moving into a positive uh, cycle in love, okay? Creating the life that you want together. Holy Spirit, please clarify like we need it, but just for fun. Please clarify the Ten of Cups for the outcome between Taurus and their partner. Yeah, for some of you too, with the Page of Cups and the Empress here, you could um, have a surprise pregnancy, okay? Temperance. There's bringing in balance and healing into this connection, okay? Um, I feel that, like I said in the past, it was a little bit wobbly and there's been an, an awakening, a transition, a transformation between the two of you um, individually and as a collective. And so I feel that what's happening now is things are shifting in between the two of you in this connection, creating the balance that you've been craving uh, with this person. And as I said, manifest and pray, the magician is on the bottom. So you, you guys both kind of prayed for this and manifested for this to be able to work. Um, before I close out, because I told you guys I would do this and just in case anybody's still concerned, I wanna look at the deception card for you. Um, I do strongly feel like this is just somebody hasn't fully expressed their emotions yet, okay? So let's take a look here. Why is deception here? Why is the deception card here for the overall romantic energy? Deception. All right, what do we have? Oh, they gave me a couple of them. Five of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles came out with a deception card. Somebody is going, like I said, who's ever going through a transition right now, somebody who's victimized or feeling left out or if there's no communication, it's because they're healing. That's what the deception is. They're healing. And when they go through this, maybe there'll be a quick break. Maybe you'll talk to each other uh, sometime in October and then take a split break for some of you, a quick one, and come back with this Knight of Pentacles. Understand that the deception is here because, like I said, somebody is in a place right now of darkness, of feeling left out and they're taking the time to heal from past wounds and once they come out of that so that they can be their true selves they're coming forward with the knight of pentacles a message of stability okay um of wanting to build something with you yeah and the eight of pentacles on the top with the fool so the deception card is just there as i said somebody hasn't been true to themselves so to start out with the strength card know that that's being healed know that that is um shifting and changing and then they're going to be coming in with a message for you very soon all right my lovely taurians um again be strong and and stay courageous continue to work on yourself when things look like they're falling apart you see here you have the ten of cups ten of pentacles two of cups and the empress and the emperor it can't get any better than that so just stay positive and i will see you guys soon bye